All right, guys, we are starting off this video, walking up to the gate and unlocking it because we have some work to do today, son. If you guys don't know, this is our new hunting lease that we got this year. And a couple weeks ago, we came out here to start doing, you know, a little bit of work to the property. I love preparing for all of my seasons. I just love having everything in check because, guys, I, mean, I, just, I just enjoy putting in the work for it. And one of the big things this year was this property is pretty much nothing but cut over. It was cut probably about three, four years ago we have about eight acres of fields but the, ma the majority of the property is cut over and for me to even physically get in here and start doing some of the things I want to do you just can't you, can you just can't get in it so I ran into skid steer with a bush hog and that was our last video but come to find out guys that the skid steer that I rented was not the one that I you know I truly thought I was getting and um, I think what pretty much happened was the skid steer didn't have a high flow system therefore the the bush hog we had was capable of cutting, you know, two to three inch little saplings and, you know, the rest of the cut over, but it just, it just didn't work out that good. We only got about two or three trails cut and we started on one of the bigger projects that I wanted to handle. But because it just, it wasn't doing the job, the, the machine was leaking hydraulic fluid, it just, it just was not a good day. You know, I just took a, took a step back, you know, regain plan of what we can do. And today my buddy is actually meeting me out here. Once again, it is a bush hog, but you guys hear me out, the machine is capable of running it and um, you know I'm just gonna trust him he said that he thinks that he can you know he can tackle it so that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing in this video today is just trying to get the majority of this of this cut I'm about to tell you guys kind of what we're doing and why we're doing this area so what you guys are looking at right now is about a two two and a half acre you know just cut over man it's mostly thorns you know it's got some small saplings in it it's mostly you know just uh, just it's just overgrown it's not it's not something that we want and what this cutover to me is doing is blocking my third field. So where I'm standing right now, the slope goes down. So in theory, I'm standing in our about another two and a half acre field that we're gonna plant with, you know, some type of beans or, you know, whatever we wind up doing for uh, for deer hunting. And, you know, literally just, you know, about 100 to 200 yards away is my third field. And that field's about three acres. So I'm thinking there's, there's no reason to have two different blinds when you know I could I can shoot this whole entire thing. When, when I hunt guys, I love to view massive amounts of land. I love watching the deer come out of different places. You know, it just keeps me on my toes. So pretty much this cutover is blocking my third field. But when I stand up here, you know, I'm about 6'2", I can almost, I can see the back of this field, but it's just the bottom that I can. And I just, guys, I wanna get rid of this whole entire cutover. I wanna open it up. Once we do that, I'm gonna tell you guys kind of what we're gonna do, you know, replanting it. I wanna still border my two fields, but I don't want this here. It's too tall and I think I can do some type of, you know, cover crop and, you know, you guys will get the layout of what our plans are gonna be when this is cleared out. But in order to get this going, it's gotta get clear. So with that being said, let's wait for my buddy to get here. And guys, it's about to be about a six to seven hour day of clearing this out. And we're just gonna do it little by little, start from the left, work our way to the right, and let's see how she looks today. What's cracking, dude? How you doing? Good, man, how are you? Good. See what do you think about the property? I think it's beautiful. It's a lot of work though, man. Yeah. Hopefully you're gonna you're gonna save my ass today. <laughs> so pretty much we're gonna walk down and I mean just just from looking straight ahead. I mean it your your skid steer and your bush hog, I mean that's it's yeah. doable. Yeah, absolutely. I was explaining to the to the guys, man, that I mean dude just I just I mean, did you, so you watched the video when it all went wrong. <laughs> yeah. So that Kubota, man, like, so it just didn't have a high flow system. I mean, you think yeah. that's why it... Well, it was a Kubota. Okay. <laughs> well, dude, I told you, I, I was supposed to pick up a Bobcat. Yeah. It was, and it was a nice one. And then we, my buddy rolls up and he's, he didn't even call me. He's like, bro, Peter's going to be pissed off, man, because this is not what he paid for. <laughs> if we jump right here, you could see some of it's even open like that yeah. and then you have clumps like this where like it really seems like the majority of the trees it's it's the more we work right the, the less it's gonna be yeah we're at right now how much further over that way no nothing 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 we might not even get we might not even get this far dude i mean i'd like to because like i mean that's that's the corner we did this barrier to know that like by far this is the goal man but i mean dude that's what i'm saying if if, if you were to essentially go sh if you were to look straight up is that where you're i think where my truck yeah i think my actually it's behind my truck
Guys, we were just sitting here talking. This Joker is beefed up, man. This is absolutely nothing like what we had the uh, the first time. This has four blades. Ours had two. It's got the push bar. It even like when when he runs through something, it even pinches, you know, some of the some of the trees in here, man. Like breaks them off. I don't think this is gonna be a uh, this is gonna be issue for us today. Like I said, the mulcher was something that was in my mind, but Carson said his gear can do it, and I I, I truly believe him. So. Let's go ahead and uh, start tackling the deck. Carson right now is just doing a small little sliver. It's only gonna be like two passes for the left side of the field. Then we're gonna tackle, you know, the right side. But dude, watching this thing work so far, it is whooping ass. I absolutely rented a piece of shit my first time around. Biggest waste of money in my life. Uh, this is uh, this day's gonna be pretty pretty good. I'm excited to see, you know, what we accomplish. For once, I actually spent money and it wasn't a waste of time. So let's see what the day holds for us. Alright guys, we're going to hop on the foiler and I'm just going to kind of walk you guys through some of the stuff that we have accomplished today. Alright, we'll start somewhere in here. So in the last video, also night, we made this existing trail. It kind of shot all the way down. You can kind of see it. And then once we realized that we weren't going to be able to do it, we tried to make another trail that was like somewhere in like here going diagonal. I think it's actually right, there, right down there between those two pines. You can obviously see this is the majority of what we cleared. And guys, I'm leaving some of these pine trees. I want to get this set up pretty much to where, like I said, I'm putting I'm putting a cover crop. I want to I wanna put something in here, and we'll probably do that here in the next couple of videos. But what I'm going to plant in here is only probably going to be about two to four foot tall, and I want to leave these pine trees. One, because it's going to make the deer feel safe. It still has some cover. I'm not wanting to erase all of this. I mean, I want to try to keep some of it. It's just this stuff is too tall, and if we don't take care of it, it's just, it's just going to keep on getting worse. These trees allow the deer to still kind of rub on them too. I mean, guys, we're going to have cameras all through here, and what we're actually going to put right here in the middle, it's going to make sense. Guys, yeah, it looks good. I'm not really worried about these trees getting laid down. I mean, that was the difference between a mulcher. A mulcher would be chopping all this up, but dude, I'm telling you that that brush hog is, is absolutely whooping ass. What we're gonna plant in here is gonna overgrow all this anyway, so it's really not that big of a deal, but on the drone, guys, it looks like we uh, we don't really have that much left, but it, guys, this is about three acres of clearing. I mean, it's not, it's not a small chunk of land. Our only issue is that once we jump down here, it is, uh, it's a little bit marshy. The way this kind of lays out is everything's kind of going down slope and then it pops back up right before you hit our third field. So it's holding water down here. It's a lot swampier than what I thought, but guys, we're just going to try to work around it and, it. and it seems like it's also getting thicker with the trees the further we go back as well. So honestly, I don't know. I don't even know how much we're going to be able to do today. I mean, guys, I'd love to do it all. Like I said, on the drone, it looks like we just have a little bit left, but when you're actually down here walking, it's a lot more. Yeah, this is where we dropped off. It's uh, I got to watch out. I don't get freaking taken out, but you can see we almost got stuck, man. It's a lot of water. Luckily with 
that attachment he can kind of pull himself out but it's uh it's sketchy man but guys all through here we're not really looking too bad it's pretty thin so it's just it's certain areas where we're moving quick and then some areas where just it takes us a lot more time i just wanted to jump down here in the field show you guys a little pov action of kind of what we're what we're working with and what we got left but let's uh let's jump back to the drone shots I cannot tell you how good this project looks and it's just how it turned out. I mean, we are a sliver away from literally, you know, squaring this off absolutely perfect, but we are running out of time and, you know, we, we could either leave a pencil line and, or do some cleanup. I mean, it's, it's going to be one or the other, so we're just going to see how it rolls out. We're really close to being done completely, but guys, I'm grateful that I had someone out here today to help me do this because this project was just like... This shit ain't doable by hand, I can promise you that. Let me get the hell out of the way so I don't die. Guys, I can't get this guy to stop working. We're done, dude. We finished everything and he's still going through and making sure that, I mean, just, just clean it up, man. Anything that's looking a little rough, he's just knocking down for me. Carson absolutely killed today, guys. I, uh, 
I just can't believe it. Once he finally stops, we're gonna go up to the truck, get everything loaded up, and guys, take take you know two minutes of your time for the end of this video and let Carson kind of tell you about his business and what he does, because guys, it, it was a struggle to try to find someone to really help me, man. And uh, I actually, I've done a couple jobs with Carson, and um, he's just he's a really good guy. And I forgot that he kind of he had some machines, and he, I mean he's a he's a big business. So uh, I reached out to him, and it, it absolutely saved my ass today, man. I mean he cleared over three and a half acres in like eight nine hours. We're we're gonna talk up there, but round of applause for Carson, man. Dude, absolutely killed it. All right, guys, we're sitting up top on I call it the second field, and guys, it's kind of hard to see, but dude, you're the man. Good. It looks yeah, amazing. Yeah. I just, I pretty much told him, I didn't calculate kind of what we did, you know, on the side. I really didn't even film too much of that, guys. But you cleared like three and a half acres yeah. in like eight and a half hours. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, after we went through that spot, I was like, you know, thought it was going to be pretty quick. We got through some of that thicker stuff. Yeah. I thought it was going to take a while, but we were able to get through it. And, uh, took a little bit longer towards the end of the day, but yeah. we, we got it done. It got, it got down to that little sliver, and I'm just like, <laughs> I literally show him the drone. I'm like, dude, I don't care if we finish it. It's your call. And he said, what time is it? Gave him a time, and he freaking, <laughs> he shot through it. I mean, guys, I, I literally, this has been a, uh, this has been a pain in the butt. I mean, I, like I said, I, I spent a lot of money to absolutely fail. I mean, all of a sudden I literally accomplished nothing except two trails. Dude, yeah. thank you so much. Tell them yeah. your company. Yeah. Tell them they can absolutely. book you. Yeah, it's uh, American Property Maintenance Company. Check us out, uh, Instagram, Facebook, website, ncapmc.com. Facebook and Instagram's ncapmc. So check us out. Uh, drainage solutions, grading, clearing, you know, we we do just about anything. I was like, you so, kind of do it all, yeah, dude. Yeah. If you guys don't remember that, I'll link all that in the description down below. You literally click on the link and go right to his stuff. Show him some love, guys, because like I said, if it wasn't for Carson today, man, I mean that I wouldn't have got this done, and it's I would have had to figure it out something else. And it, guys, like I said, I know you love to see me work, but I can't do that shit. Okay. You, you may have had it done by deer season. Yeah, with an electric chainsaw, <laughs> dude, doing it, doing it by hand, getting freaking tore up. Yeah. Once again, man, you killed it. Yeah, absolutely. I really appreciate you guys watching. Check them out, and um, stay tuned for the next video.